Hi, I'm Dawn. Welcome back to my channel. Before I forget, if you haven't subscribed yet, please click the subscribe button down below. Um, hit this like button if you like this video. And also, uh, you can ring that little bell next to the subscribe button if you want to know when I've uploaded a new video. Today I wanted to do something just a little bit different, and I wanted to talk about what to bring to chemo. I know when I found out that I was going to go through chemotherapy for my breast cancer, one of the first things I did is jump on YouTube and watch some videos to see what other people brought. Um, I hope that you find this information helpful if you're getting ready to go through chemo, or you may be someone that has a friend or a family member about to go through chemo, so maybe you can find some things that you can suggest to them, maybe some gifts that you can pick up to send with them. Now, I will tell you, the first time I went to chemo, I took this bag, this big bag, and it was absolutely stuffed full of what I thought I needed at chemo. And what it reminded me of is when I had my kids and went to the hospital. You know, you pack your bag because you're all ready. You don't know when you're going to have that kiddo, so you pack everything. You put everything in that bag you can possibly think of that you might need. That's what I did when I went to chemo the first time. I grabbed everything and stuffed it in that bag. It was so heavy, I couldn't carry it, and my husband had to. Now, by the time I was finished with chemo, I took this bag. And it was handy, um, obviously. I pared down what I took quite a bit. So what did I take with me to chemo? One of the things that I took, there was a little lady in my church that made these little bags, and I would kind of keep small things in here. So um, what I took was tissues. One of the things that happens when you have chemo, obviously, as you know, you're going to lose your hair. What you don't think about, though, is that you lose the hair inside your nose. And my nose ran constantly. So keeping tissues with me was just something that eventually just became a habit. Also, I had trouble with my eyes running when I had chemo and after. So just having tissues with me really made a big difference. I always, of course, had earbuds with me. And I would carry some kind of a chapstick, Burt's Bees, something like that, just for comfort while I was going through that process. Uh, next, I always brought some kind of knitting or crocheting with me. This is um, something I've been doing for years, and it's very relaxing, and I enjoy knitting or crocheting. I found, though, that I had to bring projects that were pretty simple. Um, I couldn't focus or concentrate on what I usually knit, which is socks and, and lacy socks in particular. So I would bring something, but it would be something easy, something that I could just sit there and knit and not think about. And just something about that process of knitting, and it just really helped soothe me. I also, speaking of knitting, would stop at the grocery store a day or two before I went to chemo and I would pick up the newest knitting or crochet magazine and put it in my bag immediately. The reason I did that is I didn't want to peek at it ahead of time. I wanted to ha have something new to look at. If I didn't feel like knitting or crocheting, I would sit and look at the pretty pictures. My parakeet, again, is very active today, so he's singing you a song. Um, I always brought some kind of a, a drink cup with me. I liked the hot cold ones. My center did have uh, plenty of different things to drink. Of course, there was water, hot water for tea. They also had Coke, Sprite, and uh, ginger ale. But I just liked having my cup handy and keeping things cold or hot while I was there. As far as snacks go, I didn't end up bringing snacks with me after the first time because they did have crackers and cookies. Honestly, I didn't feel much like eating anyway, but they did have those. And also there was a cafeteria downstairs and my husband would go down and pick up things for me if I felt like eating anything anyway. The next um, thing that I want to suggest is, is if you can, if it's at all possible, bring someone with you to, when you have your chemo. Um, I didn't necessarily feel like talking or visiting, but it was just very soothing. My husband came with me every time I had chemo and would just sit with me. He would read, I'd watch TV. It was just very comforting to have someone there with me. 
Okay, back to the bag. I always brought my Kindle with me because I love to read. And so this is full of different books. There's also magazines on here. There's a copy of the Bible on here. I found this just really handy because I didn't want to carry, um, you know, a big bag of all different kinds of books. So this was just super handy for me. The other thing I would say and just kind of suggest is that you bring the charger for whatever electronic equipment you bring with you. You're going to think that you have everything charged and ready to go, but the last thing you want is when you get there to find that your phone's not char holding a charge or um, your Kindle is not charged like you thought it was. It's just handy to have these with you. And then, uh, speaking of phones, I always had my phone with me. I um, would sit and, you know, get on Facebook, um, look at my email, just kind of the things I do every day in general. And it was just nice to have my phone with me to be able to, to message friends. And um, also, I found that I enjoyed uh, taking pictures while I was there. I would try and take a picture each time I went through treatment, just so I would have those to look back on. And so I would suggest grab your cell phone, bring it with you. The next thing I brought with me was my um, small laptop. Just as a little story, I was really glad I had this with me um, at one of my treatments. I have Netflix on here, and um, my doctor found that my potassium level was really low at one of my treatments and decided that he was going to infuse that after my chemo. And um, it was really uncomfortable. The potassium going through really burned and hurt. And as soon as I started experiencing that, I grabbed my laptop, clicked on Netflix, clicked on The Office, and sat and watched a few episodes of The Office while that was infusing. That's a show that my, my family and I will often kind of revert back to when there's nothing else on on TV, and we'll watch that. So it was very... While it distracted me and it was funny to watch, it also made me feel very comforted and almost like I was at home and, and had my family around me. I don't know if that makes sense, but th that's, that was the experience I had, that particular treatment. Now, um, you can bring a blanket with you if you like, if you have a favorite blanket or uh, a soft, fuzzy blanket. I did that on occasion. They do have blankets there at the center that they provided to me, and they were warm blankets. Some people do complain about the smell of those blankets being kind of a chemical smell. I didn't find that to be the case for me, and I, I really liked those warm blankets. Also, soft, fuzzy socks may be something that you might want to consider. I didn't use those. Um, while they're infusing the chemo, of course, they're giving lots and lots of fluids, and so I had to be up into the bathroom. Plus, I just wanted to get up and walk around and stand a little bit sometimes and grab a hold of that IV pole. And um, I was a little, would have been afraid to kind of walk around in just socks because the last thing, me being graceful, not, would have been to fall and hurt myself. So I just wore tennis shoes. I dressed comfortably during chemo. You want to make sure that if you have a port, which is what they'll put in on occasion here to give your, your chemotherapy through, that you do wear a shirt that they can access your port. My chemo went through my veins, so um, I just wore you know regular shirt that I could pull up and give them access to my veins. Uh, the other thing that I always had with me was a sour candy of some kind. The one I always referred it back to was the Sour Patch Kids Gummy Candy. I always had a bag of those with me. Some people will complain of like a metallic taste when the, the chemotherapy is infusing and the different types that they'll give. I didn't experience that, but I did have just like a, a funny taste in my mouth from, in a, I think it was from the saline. I, I don't know, but those were handy to have. I would grab one or two of those, those candies and just kind of chew on those, and it, it helped. So um, I think that's everything that I would take with me. Uh, feel free to, to ask if you have any questions down below. I'll try and answer those. I do want to do a video on what to expect for your first chemo treatment here coming up, but I hope this information was helpful for you, and I do hope that you have a blessed day.